Joe, can we go back to the basement radio in a minute? Yeah, let me ask away. Okay. Charlie asked a good question here. Do you have a section with hydronic and insulation with the poly on top of the insulation? From a building perspective, the radiant guys like to staple the tubes to the insulation. So trying to understand how to execute this problem. That's real easy. Have them staple through the poly to the foam. The poly doesn't have to be continuous. It can have a gazillion holes in it because the air barrier is the concrete. So the short answer is, if, if I had no idea if that was, this is news to me, if that was their big issue, hey, staple up the yin-yang wazoo, it's okay to have staple holes in the goddamn poly. Woo! If that was it, that's what pissed you off? Man, we could fix this. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry to, to like keep going on this, but from my understanding, the poly or the, the barrier is meant for like radon gas and things like that. No, it doesn't work for that. The concrete is the air barrier. The poly was never meant for radon. That's bullshit as well. I'm not saying you're full of shit. Or I'm just simply saying, it was, you know what I'm trying to tell you, okay? Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, no, okay, you. there's a bad joke. Concrete is a really good air barrier. Just ask Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> so then what the hell is the poly for? Vapor diffusion. Explain why vapor diffusion works even with holes. Okay, let me explain. Why vapor diffusion even works with holes. Thank you, Betsy. I've got a thousand square foot concrete slab. I've got a thousand square feet of polyethylene. And let's say I wear golf shoes and I spend a freaking hour poking holes in the god darn poly. What's the surface area of the poked holes compared to the total surface area? Holy shit. 5%? Vapor diffusion is a function of surface area. So I'm reducing the effectiveness of ripped and torn and poked holes in poly by 5% or 10 Who gives a shit? It's, now, if I've got 5% poked holes in poly and I'm trying to have it act as an air barrier, I'm doomed. Because I'm going to have 100 times more moisture flow through a hole carried by pressure, air pressure differences than by vapor diffusion, right? That is the difference. So the concrete is the air barrier. The poly, even with rips, holes, and tears, and punctures, is the vapor barrier. Yeah, remember the, remember the example with the, the, the drywall examples, that uh, the idea that I took from Madeleine Rousseau, the magnificent genius, wonderful engineer out of the National Research Council of Canada, and I took it to Atlanta. So we covered Ottawa and Atlanta. Anyway, yeah. And going back, Charlie, you didn't go into <laughs> what should the radon control be? Well, the radon control is real easy. You basically put a perforated tube in the stones and run it and, and run it below the, below the slab, below the insulation, and run it internally up through the entire roof structure, and you run it internally because you want the heat from the house to create a chimney stack or a stack effect. That's how you handle it. <laughs>